Hello, all Keta One Talk. Grab the kettle, will ya? Because this tea finna burn your lips. Sit up, buttercup. It's time again, you best say it with your chest. Whether you can sing the whare down or your singing literally burns everything to a crisp, music is the thread which unites our people. We love putting our own twists on cult classics. There's a line though, have we crossed it? My question to our panelists today is, are island DJs remixing or stealing? DJ or Goody, you've been in the game long enough to know what is right and what is wrong. What are your thoughts? That's a hard one, eh? Mm. I think on the most part, DJs are promoting. I think if you're stealing, you're, you're making money off, off the remix. And I don't think many guys are making money, but they're getting a lot of the, uh, the kudos mm. for the remix. But the thing is, if you are promoting it and your name is on the Spotify song list, yes. mm. you're stealing. It may have bumped it up and that's great, you know, and people are more attuned to that song because a DJ has actually outed it to the point where everyone's like, man, I love that song. But it's just get right whose song it belongs to. I think there needs to be some kind of fa'alo alo, some kind of respect in that, in that way. Because I don't know how I'd feel if I was driving down the road and then someone goes, this is DJ Thitter's new song and it's your song. I don't like that. I don't think any artist would. Do you have I any think. personal stories of musicians in your circles? Oh, heaps of them have been ripped off. I mean, I've been ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> been ripped off harder. There was a house album that came out. I helped write um, more than six of the songs on that album. what I get? I got a jacket. That's oh. what I got. Wow. <laughs> so then, is this a matter of DJs taking all the clout um, for the song? Do you think DJs hold more power in the industry because of this? I think DJs have more of an ear to the street. So when you're, you're pr yeah. producing a song that's, uh, that caters for a particular genre of music or more, more people, oh, people yeah. so our DJs <clears throat> will put that spin on it. For example, DJ Noitz is probably the, the, the most popular guy yeah, that does yeah. that. Now he's given um, light to country artists that yeah. say, for example, in our sort of communities, we don't even know who these mm. people are, but because he's flipped it and turned it into something that we can listen to, mm. this person has gotten more clout or more popular amongst because our community of, because yeah, of because people of. like DJ Noitz. Artists like Julia Zara, no one's ever heard of him, yeah. but it wasn't until a, a poly DJ remixed her song, Just an Illusion. Yeah. They everyone knew she, who she was. And then she was yeah. pe performing at Polyfest like two yeah. or three years ago. Yeah. And uh, whether she agreed with that remix or not um, is another thing because if that remix didn't happen, she wouldn't have come down not, to not New not. Zealand. We wouldn't have known her, she wouldn't have played shows. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the DJs have been doing it forever. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's just now that, you know, some DJs are getting pained. Yeah. Uh, and some DJs, DJs are, are being seen as ruining or wrecking the songs. So, yeah. You know. Do you think it's because they feel like they're gonna have to pay a huge amount of money up front if they went to go and talk to the person that wrote the song? Yeah. Right? Of course. Yeah. It's it's annoying because I just wish that we could have that open conversation of going, hey bro, I've got a song, can you remix it? Yeah. And then it becomes a collaboration as opposed to it just being the one person that epitomizes that whole one track. Mm. We come from like people who produce in garages yeah. and, and things that are un unregulated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not going to stop. Yeah. yeah. Not even wrong. It ain't going to stop. Yeah. But in saying that, um, if we go one back the clock to about, I don't know, 2000, year 2000, 99, 98, that's kind of where the whole boom happened. Mm. Is it technology? Is that the thing? It was technology. Yeah. yeah. It was technology. And there weren't radio stations like, say, New FM, yeah. and there was a genre of music that wasn't being played, that were being played in garages or, or yeah, at, right. at Pacific places or, or, or weddings. Yeah. And that's where the DJs kind of came through. And I will credit people like DJ Peter Gans and yeah. the Fresher of the Boat yeah, Crew, because yeah, yeah. they were in Australia doing their thing, because they had nothing. If you think about all these isolated islanders in Australia with no Pacific mm -mm. radio stations whatsoever, so they created this doing mixed date so that they were able to sell. And that's where they went wrong. They sold these mixtapes, but it became popular. Yeah. It became really popular. You got to credit them or give them some credit for why our music is the way it is today. It's because yeah. of those mixtapes. Yeah. So it ain't going to stop. 
Yeah. It's been around for unfortunately for those guys, they got pinged. Yeah. Mm. You know, it was a it was it was a massive lawsuit against the um, the Fresh Out the Boat crew, but they got a lot of pop popularity yeah. and they made so many songs, specific songs popular, like Jam or Jam were yeah. really popular through their mixtapes, specific soul. Yeah. Um, even gospel music got, got thrown in yeah. the mix. Yeah. But people weren't doing that. So um, man, I, I credit those guys all, all the time for yeah. what they've done. But you know, there's another way of doing it and doing yeah. it right yeah. to the point where you're crediting artists, but you're also, you know, protecting yourself from mm. lawsuits and everything yeah. else. They may not have known how to do it the oh, way they did. And it's like, oh, I love it. And the passion ends up yeah, driving it. Right. Yeah. The passion drives it to the point where you end know, up getting into trouble, which yeah. isn't, isn't the way. Yeah. But it's dope. It's, it's one of those things. Just because you have technology doesn't mean you should use it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because you've got all the software and everything to oh, rip yeah. songs and chop it up, it doesn't necessarily mean you should do that, you know? Yeah, 100%. Um, some are great. Yeah. Some are amazing. Yeah. yeah but then some are horrible. Yeah. And it doesn't do the artist justice with the flip. Yeah. You know, it's like, what is that? Maybe some other corner of the world may like that, but if we're speaking specifically about yeah. our Pacific yeah. people and, yeah. our, and our genre of music, um, yeah, it just doesn't have to be done with yeah. everything. Not everything needs to be reggae. No. No. I'm no, sorry, I think but you overdo it. A hundred percent. Yeah, and we make that our personality trait, don't uh, we? Yeah. Yeah. Here's a question. Remixing, you know, old, old island songs from mm -hmm. back in the day. Do you think that's okay? Who holds the intellectual property in those cases where it goes way back? You will know, so, I mean, I know that I'd know someone who knew someone whose great, 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 great grandfather wrote the song, yeah. right? Yeah. The thing is, if, if the songs were put out on radio tomorrow, they'd be like, um, that's my family song, and how did you get the rights for it? Uh, it's not only song, it's it's dance as well. Yes. You get a polyphase. Yes. And you get all these like so true. these groups and they've got full drum lines. Yeah. Like, where did the drum lines come into? It came you, from you... America. <laughs> 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 no, I was like, I'm gonna oh, start wow. stopping or... yeah. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's amazing, it's like, wow, it sounds really cool, but it's not authentic. It's not 100%. Like, the real thing. Yeah. Yeah. So our people are good at like bootlegging everything. <laughs> but hey. It's like, if it sounds cool, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. yeah. yeah. <laughs>